Okay, welcome back. And now let's talk about changes in cost and revenue. Okay, so definition number three. So I'm going to go through a couple of things here and then talk for a moment about these things. So if cost, C of X, if C of X is the cost function and it represents the cost of producing X items, then the marginal cost is C prime of X. Also, if R of X is the revenue function, and that represents the revenue obtained from selling X items, then the marginal revenue is R prime of X. If the profit function, which is, got, which is obtained by subtracting the revenue and cost function, so C minus, or to me, R minus C, revenue minus cost, and that represents the profit obtained from selling X items, then the marginal profit is P prime of X, which is all gotten from just subtracting the marginal revenue and marginal cost. So R prime of X minus C prime of X. Okay, so now that's, those are the definitions. So let me explain the marginal aspect. So marginal cost, marginal revenue, and marginal profit. Okay, so let's go back to when we were talking about the approximations, right? From the very beginning, when we started this, we started talking about um, instantaneous change, rate of change, but we also started talking about the approximate. How do we approximate the value of a function if we're further away from x, right? Some distance h away from x. So we said we could approximate it using a tangent line, right? So we can do the same thing when we talk about marginal cost, marginal profit, and marginal uh, revenue. We can think of it as when we do the cost function, the revenue function, and the profit function, when we're talking about a small change, right? H, when H is really small, we can approximate what the instantaneous rate of change would be. Um, in this case, the change if we were to sell one more item, right? Because in this case, we're talking about increments of one, right? We, we can't sell a half a widget or a quarter of a widget, right? So the smallest increment is one widget, okay, one item. So we can look at the marginal change, the marginal cost, marginal revenue, or marginal profit as the cost to produce one more item, right? Or the revenue when we sell one more item, or the profit. Okay, of selling, making and selling one more item, right? So that's the idea of marginal profit, marginal cost, marginal revenue. Okay? Have a great day.